Before 1900, nearly 60% of the people living in the U.S. and Europe were farmers. In other parts of the world, that figure was 75% or higher. Today, farming accounts for as little as 1% of the U.S. workforce. And yet, food production output is higher than ever. The reason for this shift will be no surprise. Industrialization. What may be more of a surprise, at least for some, is the degree to which industrialization has transformed our food production system and eating habits. One major shift is the rise of food processing. For most of us, when we think about agricultural products, we might think about produce or livestock, foods we buy at the grocery store. In reality, in most developed countries, food products like this are just the tip of the agricultural iceberg, or should we say, iceberg lettuce. The majority of farmed outputs go toward other uses, like processed foods, say cereals or sweeteners, animal feed, and even biofuels. In the U.S., corn-based ethanol is a common gasoline additive, for example. Another major shift since the 19th century is the disaggregation of the value chain. There are simply more steps, more parties involved, and more complexities in modern farming. In pre-industrial times, farms were smaller in scale, and the value chain was much simpler. Grow crops and raise animals, the farming itself, and sell the food to buyers. Today, most of what we grow and raise follows a more complex and sometimes long-distance journey. Let's lay out the main steps of this value chain. First, the farm inputs, which include seeds, fertilizers, and crop protection products like pesticides. This sector is led by players like Bayer, which acquired Monsanto, Syngenta, Cortiva, BASF, Yara, and Nutrien, among others. Next is the farming itself. First, crop production. Crops can then be sold for a number of different uses. For one, crops can be used directly as animal feed for a second major type of farming, livestock raising. Of course, some crops, as well as meats, will go to human food, either directly or via the producers of packaged foods. The food value chain is a complex sector in its own right, and there's often a web of producers and distributors involved before any food reaches grocery stores or restaurants. Lastly, some crops make their way to different value chains altogether, like the production of biofuels or fibers, and so on. In many cases, these farmed outputs go through an intermediary step, often called trading and processing. The so-called crop traders, like Cargill and ADM, also often take on a series of industrial processing steps, like extracting and separating valuable components, like starch or sugars, from corn kernels. Traders sell much of these processed outputs to food production companies, like the CPG giants General Mills and Dannon, as well as the producers of animal feed. Livestock can be traded and processed in a similar way, but typically by different players altogether. While many consider this entire value chain to fall within the realm of agribusiness, in this primer, we will focus on the first three steps, inputs and farming, which are the core agriculture steps, as well as trading and processing. Food production, distribution, and retail are largely beyond our scope here. This primer will uncover the unique dynamics players, and considerations at each stage, as well as the major trends impacting agriculture across the board. First up, farm inputs.